Greetings, beautiful people. Welcome to the last week of human growth and development. Thank you for taking DEP 2004 with me. And I hope that you learned a lot about the changes that we go through from the time that we are conceived all the way until our last breath. So as you know, human growth and development is all about the scientific study of growth, maintenance, and decline of human beings. So uh, there was so much information in this class and we're finally at the end. So in this short video, I'm gonna tell you about the assignments that are you know, still available and ways to earn points and also uh, a few other pointers. Okay, so this week, the only thing that's technically due is R2, Reflection 2. And Reflection 2 is worth 20 points. So you wanna make sure you go ahead and read the instructions and follow them to a T. And this reflection is very similar to the first reflection, although it's slightly different, okay? So you're thinking about what did you learn in this class? And you're consolidating that learning. You're thinking about what topics were interesting to you. And you're gonna, you know, tell me a little bit about that. Okay, and you can get up to 20 points for completing R2, all right? The other assignment that's technically due, not due until May 1st, but you're welcome to do it now or whenever you get ready, is the final exam. The final exam is the same as test two. So test two is the final exam. It's worth 100 points. There are 50 multiple choice questions and the topics range from adolescence to adulthood. But remember, adulthood was broken down into emerging adulthood, early and middle adulthood, and then late adulthood. I don't think there's many questions on death and dying on the final, but um, I will say there's an entire module dedicated to death and dying. And I've shared some videos and articles for you if you want to learn a little bit more about that subject. Also, I noticed that some of you have been commenting on the group that studied cross-cultural um, perspectives on death. And so you might have already been introduced to some of that information, some of that material. But you can earn 100 points for completing the final. I do want to remind you that this final, even though it is obviously take home because you're doing it on the computer, it is a... Um, test this proctored via analog, just like test one. Okay, so you want to make sure you have Google Chrome set up and you want to make sure you have a camera and a microphone. If you're not going to be able to take the final with analog, you need to schedule an appointment with the testing center as soon as possible because they fill up pretty quick at the end of the semester. Um, the last day to turn in any work in our class is May 1st. So May 1st is the end. Now, um, if you are not able to take it at the testing center, I will be on campus on May 1st giving this test to someone else. And so you're welcome to come into the office um, in Ocala campus, Building 8, Room 106C. Um, I'll be there um, in the morning. I have an, a class from 11 to 12.15 and a class from 2 to 3.15. So I'm there pretty much all day on Monday, but you definitely want to coordinate with me to make sure that I'm going to be in my office and able to give you the test if that's what you're choosing to do. All right. So just to recap this week, the final assignments to finish out the entire semester is R2 worth 20 points, which is a reflection and test two, which is a hundred points. Now there are a couple of other assignments that you'll see when you click on the ways to earn points module. And these are optional assignments. So the first optional assignment is the extra credit. I've been talking all about the extra credit for the whole semester, feels like, and I finally, finally, finally uploaded it. So these are 20 little prompts, 20 little clues, and all you have to do is answer, figure out the clue. Now, it's a crossword puzzle, and you can get up to 20 points for doing this crossword puzzle. So that 20 points is added to your overall, overall grade and just boost your score. It can't hurt you. If you only get five right, you get five points. If you get 10 right, you get 10 points. If you get all 20, you get 20 points. In the computer, the crossword puzzle is listed as zero points because it's optional. You don't have to do it. So what will happen is if you get the full 20 points, you get 20 out of zero, right? So it's just over, you know, it's, it's extra credit. All right, the other optional assignment is the alternate test one. I went ahead and posted that also. This test has 25 questions. It is the same information as test one. So prenatal development, early childhood, middle childhood, and the science of human growth and development. Like I said, it's multiple choice, 25 questions. It's proctored via honor lock, but you are allowed a cheat sheet on both the makeup test one and the final exam. So go ahead and take advantage of that. Um, if you have questions, comments, compliments, or concerns, 
just email me. I'm here for you. I got you, boo. Or post to the questions thread. If you post a question or email me on Friday, Saturday, or Sunday, I'm not going to see it until Monday because I'm only available Monday through Thursday. Now, this is my last week of being on like my regular schedule. Next week is finals week, and I pretty much will only be in cam on campus on Monday. So you really, um, if, you, if you need help, now's the time to reach out to me. I want everyone to be successful in this class, whether you're aiming for A, a B, or a C. I don't want any Ds or Fs this semester, okay? Let's, let's all pull it together and get that A, B, or C, whatever you're aiming for. Um, I have to say I was pretty impressed with the group projects. I just thumbed through them, but I'm going to be uh, reviewing them in more detail um, over this next week. I had planned to do it this past week, but I had a little technical difficulties. My power went out. Can you believe that? And I had to get an electrician to come out and solve the issue. But I'm back on it, and I'm here to you know get that resolved this week. And so hopefully by the beginning of next week, you'll have a clear understanding of exactly where you stand in the class. Right now, um, you can read the feedback that your class members uh, gave you regarding your group project. And you can kind of also look at the rubric because that's what I'm going to use. You can probably get a good estimate of, of what you're going to get. I'm fairly lenient on the project. However, if you didn't include enough information for me to see that you really understood your topic, that's a way you could lose points. Or if your topic, if your presentation is just cluttered and you didn't use speaker's notes, you know, if it's, you know, shabbily done, you can expect a shabby score. But I think most people, from what I saw, impressed me, actually, did a pretty good job. So, um, yeah, that's coming up. Uh, or that just passed. I don't want the video to get too long. We're already at seven minutes. Um, I can't think of anything else I'm supposed to tell you. Uh, that's that's pretty much it, folks. That's it. We're at the end. Oh, wait, I did think of it. You know what? I teach SOP 2001, social psychology. And if you are a psych major or if you're just interested in psychology, sign up for me, okay? I teach it both online and in person in the fall semester. And if you're wondering what social psychology is, well, that's why you need to take the class, bro. Social psychology is the scientific study of social thinking, social influence, and social relations. Basically, social psychologists are interested in finding out what makes other people influence you and how can you influence other people. Social psychologists study things like attraction and intimacy, aggression, helping, and dare I say, antisocial behavior. Okay, so social psychology is the sweet spot between personality psych and sociology. So it's right there in the middle. And it's a fun class. It's three credit hours. It serves as an upper level elective if you're not a psych major. If you are a psych major, it's on your pathway. Anyway, I, I teach it. Um, other than that, if you um, by chance know of someone who needs to take general psychology, which is psych 2012 or PSY 2012, I teach that too. Mm -hmm, I do. So go ahead and tell your friends to sign up for Professor Sims and, you know, you know, just, just help a sister out. All right. That's it for me plugging my classes. Uh, again, thank you for signing up for the class. I'll probably do one more check-in before the semester's over, but uh, that's it, folks.